Hey guys, welcome back to Jack Mox. So, different setting, I'm on the floor. Part of the ele electricity in my apartment went out. So I'm down to the floor right now because this is where I can get the best lighting as of right now. But obviously, you didn't come to hear me rant about my apartment problems. You came to hear me rant about this Lego haul, guys. It just came in and I am so ecstatic as you can see. I kid you not, two of the top 10 biggest Lego sets of all time just came in at this moment. I've just taken them out of the box and they are sitting here, right here. So I'm not gonna reveal them just yet. You're gonna see them in all their glory in just a moment. So before I begin, this was an incredible haul. I spent $1,100 of Lego right here with all these sets. So it's a lot of Lego. But um, to begin, let's just go ahead. So first off, we got these two sets right here. This is the Lego Ideas Sailboat set. So I got two of these because obviously I made two purchase orders of more than $200. This is August's basically little set that Lego, you know, basically gives you. Last time it was the Adidas shoe. This month it's a much larger set. So I got two of them. So traditionally they probably would come out to about 20 bucks. So I'm happy to get two free $20 sets. So this haul is gonna be much smaller than the typical haul uh, because the sets were more expensive, but I have three more sets. So this next set is a recent release. All of these are recent releases, but it's not in the top 10 biggest Lego sets. The next set we have is the Lego Blacksmith Shop. So this is a big set. It, you know, it clocks in about a good 2000 pieces. Well, you know, 2100 pieces. It's a pretty good set. It's Lego, one of Lego's most, you know, recent releases, so to speak. It's a really, really great set overall. And I like it a lot as the incorporation of a light brick. I was always into medieval um, sets growing up. So when Lego released this, I knew I had to get it eventually, right? So uh, stay tuned for reviews on these sets because they will happen. So the next set is the seventh largest Lego set Lego has ever come out with. It clocks a whopping 5,700 Lego pieces and retails for $325. The next set we have is the Ninjago Legacy set. <laughs> and whew, it's, it's heavy to say the least. Um, I have to carry it with two hands. The box is thick. It is literally seven inches thick. I am 6'3", okay? This set is huge and the box is huge, but this set, I just couldn't pass it up. I love it to pieces, as you can see. Um, so it's one of Lego's biggest sets, obviously, number seven. 20 something figures, it is huge. It is basically a modular set, or this is what a modular set wishes it could be. I am so, so thrilled that I got my hands on this. I've seen reviews that this is a contender for one of Lego's best sets ever. And just based off the look of this, I don't doubt it. It looks fantastic. It's the Lego Ninjago City Garden set, and I'm thrilled. Look out for a review. So these three sets, well, the third one I have yet to reveal, is going to be fantastic. But this pales in comparison to the final set. This set clocks in at 6,020 pieces. It is the fourth largest Lego set ever released, okay? And it was released this February. It is, drum roll please, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle. So not as big of a box, but oh man, <laughs> it's heavy. This set is phenomenal. I've wanted it since it came out. This is basically a nerd's dream come true. It is me being a nerd, a dreams come true. This is huge. Basically, if you like Harry Potter and you like Legos, if you don't have this, you're missing out. This set retailed for $425. That's how much I spent on this baby. And I'm so thrilled to get it. So basically, as you can tell, it's Hogwarts, but it's a miniature version. It does come with some figures, you know, obviously right here, but it's mostly um, miniature figures. It's meant to be a miniature Hogwarts. Okay, there we go. 
Let's slide it around. There we go. So this set is huge. It makes this set look small in comparison. It is going to be such a joy to build. I looked it up and the average time it takes people to build this is 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours to build this massive set. So guys, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, this is going to be such a phenomenal, phenomenal um, build series coming up. I'm going to review all of these, I promise, okay? Mainly this one. I'm so excited for this one. This one is going to take a lot longer, though, to review. Um, as soon as I finish up publishing this video, I'm going to start on this set right here. Um, this set probably won't be done for about two to three weeks, basically because college has started. and I don't have time to sit down for 12 hours straight and build this. Um, at most, I might just get this week, you know, this in the blacksmith's shop done. But this is basically it, guys. This is my Lego haul. What do you all think? Do you guys like this set? Do you, do you like the sets? Which one is your favorite? Which one do you want me to review first? And one final announcement is that I am currently working on a Daily Bugle review. So I'm basically going to review the Daily Bugle set completely. So look out for that. It should be coming out within the next two weeks. And also, I am releasing my um, mock series video. It is going to come out shortly. I'm sorry for releasing it late. But as always, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, and go down into the comments section and tell me, was this worth the price? Were these Legos worth the price? This is over 14,000 bricks of Lego that, I ju that just shipped in in the mail. Tell me which set is your favorite. And as always, keep on building.